So there is this popular fan theory that goes around every once in a while about the void from Gumball being the glitch from Pibby Apocalypse slash learning with Pibby. I personally have some mixed feelings about this one, so let's discuss. Oh, I just wanted to say, before we get started, I would like to point out that I will not be covering the obvious differences in their physical appearances, as well as, I know that they are technically made by two different studios. But without further ado, let's first talk about their similarities. Both of them seek to destroy everything in their paths without any discretion. Both seem to affect Warner Brothers' properties and IPs, and both have the ability to distort reality with ease. But for me, the similarities end there. They are too dissimilar when you take a look at the fine details. Let's discuss two of the main ones. Number one, the effects. The void in Gumball is a vacuum-like space covering the town of Elmore. The town itself is the set of a sitcom, and in true sitcom fashion, nothing else needs to exist outside of that. The purpose of the void is to contain the town, as well as hold on to any unused assets and characters. If the void senses something in Elmore isn't needed, then it removes it. But it's not in full control. Cartoon Network is able to use the void to shape, reset, and reboot the town in a way that it sees fit. But what about the glitch? It's exactly that. A glitch. It corrupts everything in its path and has no limit on how big it can grow. It'll keep spreading until corrected. It seems to have no owner and no purpose other than to destroy. Now I could just end the video there and say like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, but that wouldn't do the explanation any justice. On to point number two. So we've explained already that they both have different purposes and effects, but they also have different sources and actually don't even exist in the same space as each other. Starting off with the void again. It exists in a digital space. It envelops things in pixels and even uses them to warp reality. So it's likely that the void exists in an online space, possibly on a server, as it would make the most sense, seeing that all employees working on the show would need access to the files. My personal headcanon is that it exists in Space Jam 2's serververse, inside the servers at Warner Brothers. To me, that makes the most sense with what they've set up. But what about Pibby? Isn't it also owned by Warner Brothers? Shouldn't it be a part of the server? To answer that question, yes, but not in the way you'd think. The easiest way for me to explain it is as follows. Learning with Pibby, the child-friendly TV show, exists in the servers as its own show. But Pibby Apocalypse takes place over live television. It's technically not a show. It's the events that take place after the glitch takes over the Learning with Pibby show. And we know this to be true, because throughout all of the promo material and other media, we see Pibby travel through multiple other channels. She starts her journey on the preschool channel and then ventures throughout the Cartoon Network channel, the Nickelodeon channel, unofficially, and the Adult Swim channel. So, to sum it all up, if I lost you there in all the exposition, the glitch exists across multiple live TV channels, whereas the void exists only in a digital space. But that's just my opinion on this topic. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section. It's been a while since I've watched certain episodes of Gumball that involve the void, so I might not be 100% right on this. So let me know if I made any mistakes or if I may have interpreted something wrong. But remember... That's just a theory. Uh